As of Monday morning, an Iowa law took effect banning most abortions after approximately six weeks of pregnancy. I'm your Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter, Katrina Markle. With abortion care restricted, some pregnant Iowans are already making plans to travel out of state. Speaking at an abortion clinic in Bloomington, Minnesota on Friday, Peggy Flanagan, the state's lieutenant governor, had a message for Iowans. Let me just be clear. For our friends in Iowa, you are welcome here. There are people who will provide care for you. Maggie DeWitty, executive director of Pulse Life Advocates in West Des Moines, a group opposing abortion, celebrated Iowa's new law. We are here to protect all life, and that includes from the moment of conception. And that's really our gold standard. And so we're gonna keep fighting until all babies and all women are protected here in Iowa. Meanwhile, organizations advocating for legal abortion, such as Iowa Abortion Access Fund, are planning on more women going out of state for abortion care. But the cost of accessing it, especially if you have to go out of state or drive somewhere for the care you need, can, um, can be really hard. The Iowa Abortion Access Fund has a new partnership with the Chicago Abortion Fund. The Chicago Fund says 465 Iowans have reached out to them since the 2022 Supreme Court Dobbs decision that gave states more control over abortion laws. Iowa Right to Life celebrated the law, posting on social media, Life is winning. Iowa ends almost all abortions today. Abortions will drop by an estimated 97 percent thanks to the heartbeat bill. While we won't know the effects of the ban for months or maybe years, organizations like Planned Parenthood in neighboring states, including Nebraska, are preparing for more patients from Iowa. Your Southwest Iowa reporter, Katrina Markle.